This is another message that the Lord also gave to me. Please, this one is for females and for males too. Those who want their wives to look extremely beautiful. There is no woman that is not beautiful in this world. Every single woman is beautiful. But today, people have graduated from looking beautiful, from looking beautiful in their spirits and in their character, putting on the garment of virtue, and also looking beautiful physically. People have graduated from this level to the level of looking sexy. A lot of people don't know what beauty is anymore. What they want to look like is look sexy, look like porn actresses, look like those in the world, satanic princesses. This shouldn't be at all. So this message is about those who put on artificial hair, most especially temple hair. Temple hair, it is a sin against God. This temple hair have been dedicated to idols. They are like things given to the devil in form of vows and uh, payment of vows and offerings. So we should abstain from all these. Uh, the Bible says in Acts of the Apostles chapter 15, if you read it very well, the apostles gathered in Jerusalem, which was the first Jerusalem council in AD 50. And what they arrived at is that they should write to the Gentile nations who have come to believe in the Lord that they should abstain from meats offered to idols. Some people will say things offered to idols. Uh, this is found in Acts of Apostles chapter 15 verse 29. They should abstain from things offered to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication from which if you yourselves from which if you keep yourselves ye you shall do well fare you well so this is what the apostles say that we should abstain from things offered to idols whatsoever thing that has been offered to idol has been polluted so we should abstain from them even temple hair this is a message. Want my people who are called by my name, that they should stop using temple hair. As many that wear temple hairs, exchange their salvation for beauty. Do you hear it? Exchanging your salvation for physical beauty, beauty of the body, at the expense of your soul and beauty of the soul. These hair are dedicated to idols. They honor not me, but Satan. I have spoken. Also, mothers who use satanic creams to perm their children's hairs shall be held accountable. For in such doings, thousands have been initiated into the kingdom, into the water kingdom. Please and please. Do all within your power to stay away from the things that are polluted in the world. Satan lives on earth. Satan is not yet in hell. He is in the world. The battle we'll face, the battle that we we'll are engaging is not a physical battle. Please take care and fight this battle to the end with wisdom. There are things in the world that are polluted and manufactured in the world of darkness, in the kingdom of darkness, in the marine world. When they bring them to this world, Christians blindly go after these things. We know that in Psalm 24 verse 1 and 2, verses 1 and 2, we are told that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell therein. We know this very well. That God founded the world upon the waters and established it upon, upon the floods. We know this. That everything in the world belongs to God. But the Bible says we should abstain from things that are dedicated to idols. Because they have been polluted. 
we should abstain from temple air. Yet the Lord revealed to me in detail how many of these creams are being polluted and that whosoever makes use of them, if your fire in the Lord is not high, you will definitely be initiated. And that there are creams in the world today that they make, there are some creams that turn the hair of people, every strand of their hair into serpents in the spirit realm. But many people don't want to believe this. If you are a parent and you use these creams for your children and get your children initiated, you will be held accountable. I believe that the Lord addresses parents in this matter because they are accountable to their children and to God. They are accountable for everything they do, they make their children to do because children have not attained the age of accountability so if we as parents make our children go astray and do not train them in the way of the lord as we are told in proverbs 2 22 verse 6 proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 if we do not bring them up in the way of the lord in the way they should go so that they will not depart from it if we do not do that but fail and ignorantly or even deliberately initiate them into the kingdom of darkness we shall give account. I have to speak the truth. This is a truth. Though only a few search for the truth and when they find it, cherishes it. But many today hate the truth. The Bible says that brothers the way that leads to destruction and many are on it. But narrow is the gate that leads to life. But only few find it. Only few walk in it. Even the few that find it, many of them backslide and fall off the track. Please hear the warning, warning from the Lord. If you have not subscribed, just try your best and subscribe so that you can stay updated. Visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. One good thing about biblicalsexualpurity.com is that it's a community website. You can sign up and it is free just sign up ask your questions and we are going to rob mine together it is a platform where god has asked me to create and discuss sexual issues as it concerns the church and youths and the world in general so that the will of god can be made known to people so that satan will not continue to deceive god's children by leading them into sexual immorality it is a cross that i need to carry please pray for me even as I pray for you too. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.